Hi, everyone. Welcome to my psychic reading on Kim Porter. My psychic tear reading on Kim Porter. Um, thank you for listening and watching. I am Lamar Townsend. If you're new to my channel, I'm a psychic, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. Here's my cat, Cleopatra. Patra. Patra. Cleopatra. That's my cat, Cleopatra. <laughs> so, um... Yes, thank you all for listening and watching. I'm a psychic, a tarot reader, an astrologer, and a medium. Today we're going to be doing a mediumship re mediumship reading with Kim Porter. I like to call them conversations with Kim, you know, conversations. Um, but yes, basically this is a conversation with Kim Porter. I'll also be doing a tarot reading at the end as well. All right, so thank you all for listening and watching. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, follow to uh, my social media pages. If you would be interested in a reading, do not hesitate to contact me. I am available for personal readings on my website, Lamar Townsend Tarot. So this is my website. Once you've reached this page, you know you're on the right page. You can scroll down and read reviews from people who have purchased readings from me. You can also follow me down here on Instagram and Facebook if you'd like. You can also go right to the store section to check out all the services, products, classes, candles, and different things I offer. I do offer quite a lot. I do offer email readings, phone readings, video recorded readings. I do also offer candles, protection candles, money candles, cleansing candles, um, blockage removal, open roads candles. I offer birth chart readings uh success in finances uh candles like i said cleansing candles uh success in love candles i also do offer past life readings astrology classes tarot classes spiritual development classes custom candles and more so if you'd be interested in anything spiritual definitely do not hesitate uh to contact me for a reading i am also available for readings as well so if you would like a reading once again, text me at 703-791-9162. I am also available for international clients as well. So let's go ahead and get into this reading on Kim Porter. I'm um, excited, I guess, you know, um, concern, considering the circumstances. I, okay, I, I guess, yes, I will say that I am excited to speak to Kim Porter. I've actually never done a psychic reading on Kim Porter specifically, but with all that Diddy has going on lately, I figured it would be a very good time to connect with uh, Kim's spirit if she would like, um, but to definitely get some answers from spirit in general, because that's what I do. That's my job, and I am one of the best psychics on YouTube, and I have the track record to prove it. Check out the Accurate Prediction section on my YouTube channel. Check out the Accurate Prediction section on my website as well and all the reviews. All right. Um, and the comment section probably in this video as well. So thank you all so much for listening and watching. Let's go ahead and get right into this reading on Kim Porter. And let's go ahead and bring the energy th through. Let's say a quick prayer. Thank you, Spirit, for opening up the channels so that I can connect with the energy of Kim Porter. Thank you for bringing Kim Porter's energy through. Thank you for making this a comfortable, safe space for Kim Porter. Thank you for protecting this energy, this space, my energy, my thoughts, my mind, my emotions, this space, those that inhabit this space, all that's attached to my space with love and light. Thank you for bringing insight and clarity. Thank you for protecting those watching this video. Thank you for protecting Kim Porter. In the name of the mother, the daughter, the father, the son. May the energy go back from whence it came, once this is over, with love and light. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, very calming, very relaxing. I love the sound of the singing bowl. Let's tap in and see what comes through.
Thank you, Spirit, for bringing forth the energy of Kim Porter and for allowing Kim Porter to give us some clarity and insight as to what happened to her, what's to come for Diddy, and anything more. I do want to preface this by saying... Oh, I ruined my sweatpants for a second. I do want to preface this by saying this is, this is alleged for YouTube entertainment purposes. All right? I'm getting that uh, nudge by Spirit to, to put that, preface that with that, to preface this video with that. Sorry, it's been a long day of personal readings, you guys. It's been a long day. First thing I'm hearing is relax. Like, she's telling me to relax, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to relax. I'm going to chill out. I'm just going to let her speak. She says, I fought and I suffered. She says, with a smile. She's kind of getting right into it. She says, I carried on my legacy with grace. She says, I held secrets. She kind of goes like this. I kept my mouth shut. I laid low. She kind of like, you know, kind of like puts herself in a meek position like I laid low. I did all that for this man. She kind of says the, the N-word. Um, but for YouTube purposes, you know, I did all that for this, you know, in 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 word, you know, Diddy. She says for him to treat me like this. She says the one moment that I edge up or I assert myself or stand up for myself, it's almost like she's saying he can't take it. So the energy she's she's bringing right off, right off the bat is it's almost like Kim Porter was subservient to Diddy. To the point where it's like, it's almost like she's saying it this way. This is actually interesting. She's saying it this way. She's like, no, 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 no. Like, you don't need to cast me. She's, she's kind of, she's kind of funny. She's kind of, she keeps saying the N word. I'll say, I'll say it this time. All right. It's almost like she wants me to say it. She's like, oh, she's like this towards Diddy. Like, oh, no, 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 no. You don't need to cast me, nigga. Like, I'm good. You know, I, I know, I know my place. I know my role. I know what I need to do. You know, to to she says to keep the shackles off. She's getting right into it, y'all. Like I like to have not even had mo a moment to pin my wig down, and she's already like, and this and this and this. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's kind of like. Cassie thought she Cassie thought she could control him. Cassie thought she could change him. She says that was the issue. She says, you learn quick with him. Or you better learn quick with him, she says. She says, I wised up. She says, I knew what was coming. She says, she says this. She says, she kept notebooks. She kept notes. I feel like she hid things away. I feel like in certain instances she could be seen as a hoarder for certain things or with certain things. But that's just because, you know, I don't know if she, I don't think she actually was a hoarder. I think she just liked to store stuff away for lock and care to, for future purposes. So it's almost like there was, there may have been so much stuff stored away at certain points that it's like, oh, don't throw that away. Like, I don't know what's, what's locked away in that. Like, there could be some important documentation or notes in that. Like, please don't throw that away kind of thing. I don't know why that's a caveat, but that's something I'm seeing. Because I feel like she had, like, a shredder. Like, I feel like she was very meticulous about, like, documents or preserving documents. Like, 
hiding things because she knew how once again she she's like i knew how he was i knew how he was he said he she she's she's saying like with diddy like he'd buy your house he'd buy you a house he'd fund you a house you know say it's yours you know y'all might not even be in a relationship anymore but he's gonna walk in the house come up in the house you know like like he owns it even though it may be in your name, she goes, um, just no respect, he says. He says, you could buy your own house. Not in his name, not attached to him, but because it's you and because you, you there's some sense of loyalty to him, she says. Um, or he has this like egregious, she says, she, she says egregious like, sense of loyalty to him it's like he thinks he owns you in a way even though you he may not financially provide for you or be connected to you it's it's a, it's a matter of at one at one time you know maybe maybe he owns you or at one time he helped you that one time is a lifetime with diddy she says, I got chills with that. Okay. Mm. Mm. All right, Kim, let me let me just sit in this, this. Let me just sit in that right there. Because that was a word she just spoke. One, one time with Diddy is a lifetime. One moment with Diddy is a lifetime. That's your ticket in, she says. Ooh, I'm getting chills. I'm getting chills, Kim. Okay, okay. I, I just need to calm down. I need to, all right. All right. <clears throat> I feel like I need to sit up, too, because this is juicy. Oh, all right, Kim. I mean, you're, you're, you're coming for it. I'm ready. I'm ready, girl. What else? I feel like I'm just like letting her talk. I'm the interviewer. You know how sometimes like people do interviews and you just let, let the guest has so much to say. You just like let them say all they need to say and you just moderate. I feel like that's what's happening right now. She's like, oh, I got a lot to say. I got lots to say. She says, it's, she says, she says this too. She says it just like this and it's all coming out. She says. She's oh my god, she sings the she sings I'm coming out. She sings that just now. That's so funny. Um, I love her sense of humor. She kind of reminds me of Kendra G a little bit. You kind of remind me of Kendra G. Ooh, she's a little bit shady. She's kind of like uh Kim Porter goes, uh, my hair is real. <laughs> god. All right, all right. Um she says, but cute girl, though, cute girl, you know, she's kind of like good for her for like building her platform and standing strong and firm and in a lane where, you know, it's very ma ma male dominated. She says she's a strong girl. I like her attitude. I like Kim's attitude. She can kind of joke and, you know, poke fun, but she's real at the same time. I like I like her attitude. I like it a lot. All right, Kim, whatever, whatever, uh, you know, other things you, I would, I would like you to touch on if you don't mind, like what happened with you and Diddy in your passing? She says this, she says, she's like, just say it. And then she starts laughing. She's kind of like, she's kind of like in this energy, she's where she's like, I just want to have fun. She's kind of like, I've done a million of these. I've done a million, you know, I've done so many of these like channelings and connecting with people like you. She's almost like, I like your energy. I just want to have fun, you know? All right. All right. So she says, the nigga killed me. Almost like, what you mean? What happened? Like the nigga killed me. Like that's, that's how she's saying it. She's saying I trusted his people too much, or I trusted his people. So it's almost like she's saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, Kim, 
So it's like you're saying he he meaning Diddy allegedly. This is my cat Fonzie, by the way. Allegedly, Diddy put people in place surrounding you. Almost probably, what I pick up is to control you and to monitor you. She kind of shakes her head up and down, like she's kind of sitting with her like hand on the desk, and she's kind of like going like. She's saying, I was too reliant on him, even then, even then, even still, she says. And she's kind of like, I'm, I'm ashamed of that. Like, that makes her feel some type of way to admit that. Like, you know, her body language changes. Like, the fact, the, the fact that she felt like she was too reliant on, on him. Kim Porter felt like she was too reliant on Diddy by the time she passed. She's kind of like saying... Her body language is like changing. She's like kind of like standing up and facing away from me. But like, it's almost like this is like, she's getting emotional, it feels like. I see her like taking off a ring or something like that. So I'm wondering if Diddy gave her a ring or promised her or something. Kind of gives me the energy like Diddy maybe promised her something. Like, we'll get back together or I'll fix it. Like, to get back in her good graces. And he betrayed her. I hear again. He betrayed her again. This time it was fatal. This time it was forever. She's kind of like, she's kind of gotten a bit more quiet. She keeps saying, I trusted him. She says, I was gaining my independence by the end. But there were still things where he, she says, lifestyle. Did he made it so easy? He made it easy when it, it, you know, it seemed like he made it seem like doing it on your own was so hard. You know, why bother when Diddy can just do it for you free of charge or Diddy can just provide it for you kind of thing. But she says that that comes with a price. She says, but that comes with a price that came with a price. She kind of goes like this, as you as you can see. Look at me, kind of thing. Damn. Damn, Kim. She says, my babies. She's kind of like, I know, I know my fate. I, you know, she's kind of like, you know, I, I, I understand my fate. She's like, but my, but my babies. You know, that's what I'm fighting for now. She's saying something with Quincy and mental health. Her son, Quincy. I feel like she also has a daughter that may be struggling with depression in some way, shape, or form. Like, all her children seem like they're disconnected. Either from each other or just in general. And where there should be some camaraderie between the siblings, they're disconnected. They're just they're disjointed. She says Diddy. Allegedly, once again, I'll say. She kind of says to me, you know the saying, I can give it to you and I can take it away. She kind of goes, that's Diddy. I can give it to you and I can take it away. I hear on loan. It's almost like signing away your life on the dotted line or, or, or your, your soul on the dotted line. It's like you're, you're owned by Diddy. This is a legend. This is what I hear very clearly from Kim Porter, all right, in spirit. She's saying getting married to Diddy is being owned by Diddy. Signing anything of your rights to Diddy, she says, is being owned by Diddy. 
She says, and you're now a chess piece in his chess game. Damn. Okay. This is, I didn't expect this to be so intense. I mean, I knew it was, there was going to be some gems and some, you know, tea spill, but you, damn, like, I, I'm speechless. She says the walls are crumbling down. She says the tip of the iceberg. She says he better not touch my kids. She says that very clearly. He better not touch my kids. Actually, says she says it this way too. You better not touch my kids. That's Kim Porter to D to Diddy. You better not touch my kids. Better not, she says. She says there's friends who know stuff. She shows me Kamora Lee Simmons. She's like she, Kim Porter's like, she knows stuff. It's not a coincidence that weird stuff are happening around her. She knows stuff. And, P, and she's saying Diddy knows that she knows stuff. She's saying there's other people in the industry who know, some models, some other models. Um, there's almost like... It's a well-known, um, it's almost like it's a well-known thing in the model industry about Diddy. It's almost like, I don't know why I give energy where it's like, ooh, we, we don't do Diddy parties. Like, I don't know if Diddy has models, because you know how these celebrity parties, you know. I don't know if he incorporates models, but it's like, you know, it's almost like, ooh, don't do, don't do a Diddy party, you know, as a model kind of thing. Kim Porter saying that there is a lawsuit that will go to trial in context to Diddy. I don't know why I'm seeing something connected to baseball in Diddy or like a baseball player maybe. I feel like Diddy could get booed at some point. Like, I see him on an award stage or presenting an award or, like, speaking, you know, publicly. And, like, he, he gets booed. I feel like he gets booed. I feel like he tries to turn it around, though, in his favor. I don't know why I hear his song, You Can Hate Me Now. But I won't stop now, cause I can't stop now. I see he has like a big monster on his back. Like a huge monster on his back. But I'm not sure if this monster is his protector or is this monster like, it could be a demon or the djinn, I'm not sure, whatever it is. It's like, I'm not sure if it's, if it's Diddy's friend or foe, but it's like attached to his back for sure. Like looking down on him with its arms crossed. But I feel like it does his bidding as well. But I feel like whatever the whatever this monster is, it's a new it's a new spiritual attachment for him. This isn't something he's always had around him. 
or attached to his soul body, his spirit body. We have to remember, just as we have a physical body, we also have a spiritual body. We are human. We are spiritual beings having a human experience, right? He could start to, like, post more on TikTok, did he? To, like, tap into that Gen Z energy. But he could get caught up with, like, a young person or something like that. Like, I don't know why I keep seeing TikTok. I feel like Kim Porter's singing, or like I'm hearing the lyrics, every move you make. I feel like this is Kim Porter singing about Diddy. Every step you take, every breath you break, every, I don't know the lyrics, every death you make, I'll be watching you. That's Kim Porter singing to Diddy right now. Literally, she's singing these lyrics in, in her own voice. I kind of messed up the lyrics at the end, but yeah, you get the gist. Every move Diddy makes, it's going to like, it's going to be like quicksand. It's going to be like a trap. A trap. Where he thinks he's in the clear, but it's like, he falls through the trap. He falls through the quicksand. Like, I see him trying to run away, but he's caught. It's like they're pinning him down on the ground. I also see something about drunk driving or arrested for, like, being intoxicated or something like that. Like, it's the, begin it's the beginning of the end for Diddy. She says justice will be served on a silver platter. There could be something with her body as well, her casket, where it could be re-dug up for testing of some sort, which has been alluded to before, but I, I'm seeing that as well as a possibility that could happen. I keep seeing something about spring, springtime, like March, April, May vibes. February, I'm hearing February. I also hear November. I don't know, but I feel like there's something about 2025 as well with Diddy. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get into the cards and see what the cards have to say. And we're black. It's awful what happened to her, y'all. My only question is, and maybe I'll do a part two at Kim's request. Thank you for cleansing, clearing me the cheapest deck. Let me pass reading. Amen, amen, amen. My only question is, is Kim Porter going to get justice for what happened to her? Is Kim Porter going to get any sort of justice for what happened to her? Is Kim Porter going to get any justice for what happened to her? Make sure you all like the video. Subscribe. Once again, if you would like a personal reading from me, I am available on my website, lamartownsintero.com, or text me at 703-791-9162. Will Kim Porter get justice for what happened to her? 
innovation, there could be a change or an innovation in technology that could be helpful in in her getting justice in some way. Part of the reason as to why, and I know it was only a few years ago, but technology changes so rapidly. Part of the reason as to why maybe... She didn't initially get a toxic call or, or I feel like there's something about technology that's, that's changed or evolved that can detect more things, more minute things where maybe they couldn't so much in the past at the time she passed, which I think was 2017, almost 10 years ago, if you think about it, resourcefulness. It kind of becomes a, a an energy of like how much like it once again may come down to her being her grave being dug up and being her being like tested or exhumed, but it's almost like it's been kind of so long like you know bodies decompose how much would be left to exhume, but if you see like the spirals here for some reason the spirals remind me of hair. So there could be something with her hair in particular. All right. The bluff card. It's like there could be murmurings of it, of, of justice being, you know, potentially... Um, being served, but it's almost like a bluff. It's almost like, well, we've heard this before. Is it really going to happen this time kind of thing? Practicality. I think detectives, investigators are taking their sweet time with justice getting served. I think there's something about getting other ducks in a row first that needs to happen. All right. Because there's something about Kim's passing, Kim's passing, like where it's almost like, okay, Kim passed. And then it was almost like almost immediately back to business as usual in the P. Diddy household. That's the energy I get that comes across, which is very suspicious if that's the case, of course. So it's like, well, what is, what, what is and was that process? Who, who was and is a part of that who was a part of that process then who's a part of that process now because it's a people a part of a process of you know business as usual that know all the secrets that know all the tea <clears throat> order there's a way to go about getting justice for Kim I feel like there's something about doing it in an orderly, organized way. That's important. All right. Rebellion. So it may take also vigilantes or it may take... Um, hold on. It may take vigilantes, it may take people kind of like demanding justice, demanding something be done, demanding the case re be, re be reopened. A choice shows up connected to one-on-one -on -one relationships. It could also take someone close to her or around her to help make the decision as well to reinvestigate. Speculation. There's speculation around her death that this shows up connected to death. Endings change. There's speculation in their suspects. I get a man and a woman here. Or it could be a man and a woman who bring the speculation to the forefront to the proper authorities. But there's going to be, there's definitely going to be a reassessment of her case. I definitely get that. There could be a connection to the months of September, October, the numbers four to eight. Four to eight weeks, four to eight months, maybe four to eight years. 
Or the numbers four to eight could be important. I get the defense card. There's been certain evidence I feel like that has been taken care of, that has been maybe gotten rid of, where the perpetrators, whoever did this to Kim, definitely feel like they've covered their tracks. The intuition card shows up connected to the past. Drama. And flirtation, the number nine. I think justice for Kim is going to be a slow build. I don't think it's going to be like as sudden and quick as Cassie. I think it's going to be a slow build. I think we're going to like start to hear murmurings of, of like the case being reopened or something going on with Kim over a period of time. And then it's like things start to get real where it's like, oh, okay, they're taking this seriously. You know, oh, okay, they potentially got a suspect. Almost like Biggie. And we have to think, like, if allegedly, you know, Biggie and, and um, Tupac even, we'll take for example, Diddy was, was a, a, a alleged to be associated with Tupac's passing. But we have to think, if it took us, what, 20-something years to figure out the story, you know, behind Tupac and... For that to come to the forefront, even though it was always out there, and for that to be taken seriously by by you know by law enforcement, why would that not be the same process under the hands of Diddy with the passing of Kim Porter? They you know thought they you know had their hands clean you know with their involvement with Tupac, Diddy, and whoever else allegedly. So why would they not do the same thing with Kim Porter? Right? They've dotted their I's and crossed their T's. But the issue is... The handwriting can always come back to you irregardless. Right? So are you ever really off the hook? Are you ever really scot-free? I don't know. This may be, you know, a Tupac Diddy situation or, or a Tupac Biggie situation. I will say Tupac because Tupac's case is solved at this point, right? I don't quite think it'll take as long as Tupac's case took to get solved for Kim Porter, but it could take a little while for us to get some answers and true justice. All right. This is the one secret Diddy does not want to get out. For some reason, this 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 one is one that he really fervently like fights to not be um to not uh what's the word I want to use? To not be taken seriously. To not be solved. Feel like if people knew it would give credence to a lot of things involving Diddy. What's the final card for Kim Porter? Credence to things he doesn't want to give credence to at this time in his life. So I'm pulling from my Psalms tarot deck, and we got the Psalm Psalm 101-2. Psalm 101-2. Let's see what it says in the book. All right. Psalm 101-2. I will study the way of the blameless. When shall I attain it? Study what works. 
The light within patiently brings us to greater and greater awareness of our true identity and purpose. Realize that you undertook efforts to cultivate your spirituality because the divine prompted you to do so. Studying subjects related to spirituality, a key component of any spiritual practice, is your next step. I wonder if Kim was starting to study spirituality before she passed as well. And maybe that's what Diddy didn't want either. Um, Because that's a, that's a way of, of breaking free, right? Spirituality. It says, immerse yourself in the lives of those who have traveled the path to oneness and learn their methodologies. If you punctuate your routine with studying Torah or the truth and performing acts of love and kindness, I wonder if she was, was she Muslim or something like that? And worshiping the divine, you too will reach the goal of goals. There's something here about spirituality, about religion playing a role. I think Kim was becoming more spiritual and Diddy didn't like that. Maybe she was studying the Torah or the Bible or the Quran to combat all that, you know, you know, dark magic that Diddy does. Kim was not a, a dumb woman by any means. She knew exactly what was going on with Diddy. All right. And what all he had with, you know, that came with him. All right, you all. Well, I thank you all for listening and watching. Remember, I'm Lamar Townsend. I'm a psychic, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. I am, avail- I am available for personal reading. So if you would like a personal reading, do not hesitate to reach out. We send Kim Porter back where she, you know, her energy, you know, back to the light with love and light. In the name of the mother, the daughter, the father, the son, the Holy Ghost. We also ask that those who are, you know, are affected by Kim Porter's passing, healing, love, and light. All right? Peace, understanding, groundedness, all right, and not feeling alone, all right, in their burdens. In the name of the mother, the daughter, the father, the son, and the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, amen. All right, you guys, I'll see you all in your next in, in my next reading. I'll see you in, in your own personal reading. Either way, I will see you soon. I'm sure. Love and light. God bless. Until the next time. Make sure you stream my album available on Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, Pandora, and more. Psychic with a T. All songs were created, produced, written, arranged by me. Psychic with a T. The psychic with a T. That's me. That's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. I don't care what the others say. Let's channel some energy today. I don't care what the others say. Let's channel some energy today. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong. This tarot card reading about to be long. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong. This tarot card reading about to be long. Psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me. That's me.